guys and dolls. It's me, Spooks, here again. Anyways, um, I got a wig. Yes, 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 I did. I think she's so fall and so pretty. He named her Julie. And anyways, guys, I think she's so cute. I cut the baby hairs and they stick up just like mine do. <laughs> so, I... Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do some work on here. Everybody is like, massage, do this, do that. Um, so, I kind of fiddled with her a little bit, uh, put her on. If you guys uh, watch my channel, you know that I am not a wig expert, obviously. She's my first. Um, my other one's still on the way. I just got impatient, you guys. Sorry, I gotta wiggle in here and get more comfortable. Um, you guys, it's so bad. It really is. Me and patients are almost non-existent. We really are. So, yesterday during my lunch break, I got online, found a little place called High Fashion Wigs, and it was, I think, seven minutes away from me. So, during my lunch break, I ran, and I picked up Julie. I think she's perfect for the fall because of that red under tears that she has. Um, so, yay, I finally got one, um, and I, as I said, I think she's pretty, I'm so obsessive, I really am, um, I find something, and I'm like, oh, I want to do that, and I usually just, like, boom, 100%, um, so, I've already found a pink orange wig that I like, it's really more like a rose gold and if you guys look up wigs and stuff, the pink orange one is all over the place. Um, that one's just fun. And then I found this really pretty sleek gray bob that I want. But of course I'm not made of money and I'm just gonna have, they're just gonna trickle in. Um, anyways, so I don't know. I think I did okay with my hairline. I think I did okay for not knowing what I'm doing because I seriously had, um, sorry, I know I had to touch that guys. Um, my phone's actually going dead and I record on my phone and so it popped up. Great timing phone, great timing. Anyways, so, um, yeah, like I'm trying to figure it out. As I said, I'm watching videos and you know, everything, but okay, let's leave her alone and let her just look, you know, the way she's gonna look. Um, but anyways, I love it. I do, I love it and I can't wait to get like some more, um, for sure. Just for fun giggles and you know, as I said, I don't wanna fix my hair so I can just pop one on once I get her fixed the way I want her. Um, anyways, but what do you guys think? This is not the video that I planned on doing today. I actually planned on doing a, um, and yeah, this got like real serious, a video about race. And um, the thing is, in my family, I guess really I, I don't even wanna touch on it until I go to make the video. But the thing is, if none of my videos obviously are scripted because I'm poking the button because it's going dead. It's on my iPhone. I'm at my office. All of mine are just off the cuff. Just here it is. Um, and that's the way this other, you know, my video about race is going to be. I know it's such a touchy subject. It's like nobody wants to talk about it. Hush, 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 hush. And why? Why? It's a big it's a big issue, you know, or it's a big non-issue. I mean, depending on how you look at it, you know, um, some people write it off like, oh, get over it. That's not right. But then some people are on this side that that's all they think about, you know, is past and what happened in the past. And I don't think that's right. So anyways, as I said, um, there may be another video up today if I do it, but as I said, once I do, it's just gonna be a chit chat between me and you. Um, you know, you guys from my previous videos know that I am not racist and I, I think every color is beautiful. I think it's more than beautiful. Like I love shades, I love colors, I love ranges. And for me and my household, that's the way it is. But it wasn't always like that. And I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um, 
anyways, as I said, before I go just start doing that one, my phone's fixing to die, so I don't, I can't do it right now. But, anyways, so what do you guys think about Julie? I think she's really fun. Wigs are expensive. <clears throat> Let me just throw this out there. Wigs are expensive. This one's not the most expensive um, because I'm new at this and there's no way I'm going to spend a thousand dollars on a wig right now. No. But even the two wigs that I got, they're expensive. Ooh. And so the other wigs that I've been looking at are on Amazon and they're fairly cheap expensive I hate the word cheap I don't know if you guys do I hate that word it's like no nah. um, like I don't tell people I'm cheap like if I'm pinching pennies I tell them I'm thrifty you know because like there's something about the word cheap that just bugs the crap out of me um, but anyways yeah I've been looking at some that are less expensive and even if some of them don't look that great, I may just use them for videos, you know, talking to you guys, have like some sassy wig on that I would never walk out of the house in. Um, anyways, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this all is going to end soon. Um, not that soon, you know, right now, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I have quite a few children. I have four. I have two biological, well, I actually have six. Okay, we're just gonna go with that because that's how I feel. Um, I have six kids. I have two natural, my two oldest, 26 and 22. Those are my biological babies. And then I have two stepchildren and both of them, one's a senior and my daughter just turned 13. She's in seventh grade. But then my two older boys have their girlfriends, which are my children. They're my babies, you know, and they've been together for a long time, both couples. So I have Adam and Dante, and then that's my youngest biological son and his partner. And then I have Christopher and Abigail, oldest son and his partner. Anyways, the long way to, you know, long story, just to say that I have six kids. But I have a house full right now. Um, but two of my babies are going to be moving in December or January, somewhere around there. And so I'll have a room that is open. Um, and I'm actually gonna have a filming room. So that's exciting. It's still, it's so close, but so far away. But I've already started planning out in my mind uh, what I want this to look like. You know, the backgrounds, the colors. And so I'm very excited about that. So a little sneak peek on that. Anyways, my next video, unless something dramatic or drama-wise comes up, um, I want to talk about race. So tell me down below what you guys think about that. Let's not be scared to talk about it anymore. Come on, it's out there. It's there. You know, everybody thinks it's too taboo, shh, you know, because you don't want to get in trouble with what you think or feel. Then you're thinking and feeling wrong. You know, there's something wrong there. So you yeah, probably ought to get that fixed. You know, and that goes both, you know, I say both ways, every direction. I don't care what race you are. If you feel racist against any race, or you feel hate towards any race, or any of that, there's an issue. Anyways, that I can't really stop because I, I really do want to talk about that because I feel like more people should. And maybe if people were more open about race and about issues and about their feelings, the world would be able to heal. Anyways, enough rambling. I got to get back to work. Love you guys. Please subscribe. Love you. Bye.